Tyler here, Trunk Holly folks. How you doing today? I was out here with a brand new 2020 Jeep Cherokee that has the technology package in it. And this video is gonna show you the features of it and how they work and how they're gonna help you when you're out on the road. So if there's something that you wanna see, obviously pause, rewind, check it out so you can see it again. If you need to reach me for anything, my cell number is 470-296-1778. You can call or text anytime with any questions or just leave a comment in the video. First thing I'd like to show you is the parallel and perpendicular park assist. And since I don't have any parallel spots around here, I do have perpendicular spots. I can at least show you how that works. It will park on either side of the road or either side of the uh, alley that you're on. If you want to park on the left, you need your left turn signal. So we've got a spot up here where we're going to pull in. I'm going to engage the system by hitting this button right here. On my display, it tells me that it's looking for a parallel spot. I need to use the right arrow to look for a perpendicular spot, which it's doing right now and it will sense parking spaces. It speeds up to about 18 miles an hour, which is kind of quick. I know that's not probably a bit fast to be driving through a parking lot, but we just went by a space right there, and it tells me keep moving forward, stop, and now taking my hands off the wheel. It's up to me to operate the brakes, the throttle, and the shifting lever. So I'm now gonna back up. I'm gonna pay attention to my mirrors. You see it's gonna do the steering for me. getting a little close to one vehicle on the side so I'm going to uh, pull it forward and let it line itself up All right, I am checking my mirrors my backup camera to make sure I'm not gonna hit anything and what it'll do is it'll center you in between the two vehicles and I'm just about there all right it says it's complete so that was a perpendicular park assist maneuver that the vehicle helped me out with, and it will do that with parallel spots too. It will actually go back and forth up to six times before the system would give up, which that should be more than enough for you to get into your parking space. All right, so this is gonna be a quick demonstration of the uh, adaptive cruise, and I actually have the cruising speed set right now. I don't know if you can zoom down to my feet, but I have, I'm not touching any pedals right now. And you see it just brought me down to a stop without touching any of the pedals. So if you're out in traffic and you have your cruise set, and I'm just gonna hit resume so it'll start going again. If you're out in traffic and you have your cruise set, if the person in front of you stops, your vehicle's gonna stop. But you, again, have to have the adaptive cruise on and a speed set. And that is how your adaptive cruise control works. Obviously on a road trip, it's gonna be very handy especially if you're out on a long haul and you get with somebody out on the road who goes about the same speed that you want to go, then you just set your adaptive cruise a couple miles an hour faster than that person. You stay behind him. It'll maintain a following distance so you don't have to continually adjust your cruise control. It'll do that for you. You can adjust your following distances right here. All right, next we're going to get out on the highway and I'm going to show you the uh, lane sense with lane departure warning. and uh, I'm going to show I've got my adaptive cruise control set again and it's set to um, I've actually got the speed set at 70 and as long as that person in front of me is going to go 70 then we'll go 70 now you see that truck is pulling in front of me and it's going to back off a little bit because he's going slower than I am just kind of a little review on the adaptive cruise now this also has lane sense with lane departure warning and here's what that's gonna do for you. It's showing green right now that I'm in between my lane, or that I'm in my lane lines. So if I take my hands off the wheel, what it's actually gonna do is, you'll see the wheel turn, and it'll steer me back onto the road. Now this isn't autopilot, okay? What it's there to do is to help you stay in your lane. It's help you there, keep you on the road. See how it doesn't do it a third time? It's there to keep you going in your lane, so maybe you're getting drowsy, maybe you're distracted. That's what that's there for. It's not autopilot, but that's your lane departure warning right there. When this thing up here turns orange or orangey yellow, as you'll see when I move towards the line here, see how it turns yellow and then the wheel will turn back to put it back into its lane. 
if you signal, it disables the system while the turn signal is on. So it's not trying to nudge you into your lane while you're going to turn. Well, that about wraps things up for the demonstration of the technology group here in the 2020 Jeep Cherokee Limited. Hope you enjoyed it and you learned a few, thing or two. So again, if there's any questions that you have about it, if you want to photo, photograph something on the vehicle, just call me, text me. Number is 470-296-1778. And thank you very kindly for watching.